Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. It is day three of the first week of Mythic Boss Rush and the bosses are Akalot of Nesot and Silhorn Amberwind. I haven't checked out what the other bosses are yet, but let's go take a look. I'll be going in with fire, I don't have the Reno to build multiple comps if fire doesn't work. I have a couple of mercs that I have individually upgraded like Cornelius, so then we'll just try to figure something out. Let's go. All right, first one is Lewis Phillips. Okay, one thousand one hundred and thirty health. That that's a lot of health. All right, let's see. Everyone get an obvious feeling a little uncomfortable here, but we'll see. We can stop their attacks on turn one. I will not be able to stop their attacks on turn two. From there I would I should be able to just keep freezing them, but I would have to somehow survive turn two. As an upside the ads are dead, so maybe yeah. Just summoning more ads. That is so so good. Because that means that I have time to do my heart fire this turn. Not so fast. Brian is going to live through the attack. Yep, that one attack, that's totally fine. I do not mind. We must band together, now we have banding together. Now we're just banding together. And Godgar can keep them from attacking. This is why I went with Godgar for my heroic brawl team. Just the idea that Godgar can root so many times and prevent damage. So well, that went well. I guess we take the start of game effect. GG is on the bench, but start of game still works from there. I'm not going to use the active abilities anyway, so we'll just take the start of game for Gatgar as well. And then Wing Commander Ichman. Alright. Immune while being attacked. I'm glad that I did not pick a comp that actually wants to attack. For the Alliance. 138 attack. That's a lot of attack from a green. If it's fast enough, I mean, it's going to just delete. But not, not quite delete a Merc at a single hit. So we just start blasting. Doing blizzards. Just trying to stop it from attacking. But turn 2 is the weakness, but it's going to do a summon on turn 2. Wonderful, wonderful. That gives me time to do hot fire, and then we're back to being able to freeze. This is, again, this is why I picked Godcar for the team, because I figured that in many fights, just being able to root them over and over and over again would be incredibly useful. Just banding together United for Dalaran, you know. But... <laughs> Boom. Alright, good job, Katkar, good job. That was well done. Then we get another pair of treasures. Ah, useless treasure. That's tough. We'll see how that goes. Start of game, give you casters plus 10 spell power. Yes, please. Alright, Drakizad. Drakizad had some one-shot things, right? Don't quite remember. Characters can't be frozen and have plus 10 fire resistance. Yeah, plus 10 fire resistance really is, is not going to do anything. It's, yeah, it was going to heal the other dragons. So there was the burn strat and... A couple of alternative strategies for this one. I think we'll believe in the base team. I have Chizzy on the bench. Chizzy equipment is bugged though, which makes it a little awkward. Cleave. 
volcanic fire cleave. Yeah, we're going to do some freezing stuff. So, restoring 60 health actually isn't that much. So it's also possible to try to like take down the adds. That could be done. Well, we'll see how it goes. We're going to blizzard here anyway. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage from Gedan. A lot, lot damage from Gedan. Anti Dragon King, okay. Volcanic Fires, fine. I mean, Gedon is just going to. Gedon is just going to go to town here. Nope. I think I've got everything covered pretty well here. Baron Gedon, Baron Gedon. Oh. Alright. Good job, fire team. Good job. Plus 20 fire damage, yes, please. Well, I haven't upgraded Cookie's treasures. And then, Silorn Amberwind and the Acolyte. We'll see how this one goes. There's going to be a lot of bonus nature damage here, I believe. We'll see you soon. That's the bonus nature damage. And then the tentacles and stuff. Alright. Health attack stuff. Okay. 580. Can't quite kill them immediately now, can I? I might lose Ragnars at least. But do I lose anyone else? 8 speed, 6 speed, 4 speed. Sounds fine. We got to work on Silorn. I believe. Inferno. Blizzard doesn't really do much here. That one is attacking at 4 speed as well, but... Blizzard it is anyway. Trying to blast as much as we can. And one health remains. The Eclipse, okay. Didn't even manage to kill Rag. 6 speed, 5 speed. 7 speed, 4 speed attack. 4 speed attack, 20... Oh no, it's going to kill Rag. It's going to kill Rag, isn't it? Not necessarily, because I have hot fire. But those roots will kill Rag. Well, I guess Rag is just going to die. But it's fine, I get to activate... This is the last fight anyway. But I get to activate Geron. Now Rag will die, sadly. But... It's not bad. It's not that bad. Because United for Dalaran we banned. Couple of tentacles, but we can just do hot fire and inferno. And they're going to just die to do that. So boom. Yeah. Fire got through really, really well. Good job, fire team. I don't have Belinda in this team. I probably should. Belinda's new treasure that gives more health is just bonkers. It's so good. But 165 renown and... it So it takes around 5 days. To get one mercenary to the minimum level where it can be brought to brought to level 100, which means 10, 10 to everything. Level 10 to everything costs around 1000 renown per mercenary, but less if you have a lot of shared treasures. 
So in the next few weeks, ha, I might have some more teams for this mode. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.